It's been a while since the event, yet Meghan Markle's surrogate birth of Prince Archie is still the talk of the town, which brings both the royals and Markle in a rough patch with the public. Folks wonder and raise many questions as to when King Charles's old friend Sir Nicholas would take initiative and address the following. Stay tuned towards the end of the video to get to know exactly where Markle is taking this scandal to. Do you think this royal birth may erupt even more allegations? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to discuss one of the heated scandals of the Sussexes regarding the birth of Prince Archie. Sir Nicholas Soames is a British Conservative Party politician who served as the Member of Parliament for Mid-Sussex. He plays an active role in engaging and solving the royal political matters, so naturally the folks will turn to him regarding their expectations of how the court would address this matter. But currently, the royal household is playing an immense game of chess. They have to make sure that they handle the whole Archie surrogate scandal perfectly before it blows off into a wildfire. But on the contrary, they also have to ensure their social image does not disrupt with their active participation in this scandal. The royals seem to have no idea how to deal with this as it seems to be putting the royal household on a rough patch, so they are left with no other option than to rely on one of their oldest and trusted courtiers, Sir Nicholas. But since Sir Nicholas has no official role in the royal household, the citizens speculate on whether he would help sort out the mess or just worry about his area of expertise. But despite the formalities, Sir Nicholas's family background comes into place. Nicholas Soames is sure to be in the inner circle, with his grandfather being the well-known Winston Churchill, who in his time was the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Winston Churchill was also known to be close to the royal family and helped them in their time of need. Their Royal Highness, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The couple announced via Kensington Palace's official Instagram account on October 15, 2018. Their royal highnesses have appreciated all the support that they've received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. This officially opened the gates for the accusations and allegations of Meghan Markle's scandal of surrogacy and as she went on desperate lengths trying to cover up her harmless act of adopting a surrogate child. But things got heated when Meghan Markle was spotted walking around with a bump fitted to her stomach which she did clearly thriving for attention and supposedly deceiving the public eye. The royal family should know that surrogacy isn't necessarily a crime of sorts which needs desperate measures of cover-ups, instead encouraging the public and letting them know that the royal family are also as human as a commoner might be a breath of fresh air. If a surrogate baby is what they want, they shall proceed with it without having to fake a baby bump. The Sussexes were also spotted talking to the bump, just like any other normal couple might do, but for odd reasons, this infuriated the netizens. They proceeded to lash out on the royal family, stating that they were deceiving the public and were just a bunch of crooks. Apart from this, the misinformation also created a fine line in the royal household where only some folks were ready to side with the Sussexes, while others either kept silent or simply refused to acknowledge them and help them through this rough patch. After the fake bump incident, many realized that Markle was never pregnant and had her children via a surrogate. They claimed that Markle wore a prosthetic known as a moon bump. Hundreds of tweets and YouTube videos are dedicated to analyzing photos of Markle at various stages of her pregnancy, claiming her bump had disappeared. A poll taken place at the royal court also signified how they favored Prince William over Harry and even considered removing Harry from the line of succession as they did not think that Prince Harry and Duchess Markle were good role models and contemplated that the Sussexes would only bring more harm than good. And results from the online poll in which courtiers were to consider who would best carry on the legacy of Princess Diana, many favored Prince Andrew over Prince Harry. This gives us a clear view on how the royals regard the Sussexes till date. What do you think of this scandal? Are the Sussexes worth saving or protecting at this point, or is it just another harmless mistake? Either way, why did the royals have to wait until this day to take action and let the situation only get worse, which would just directly stain their reputation? Comment your thoughts down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more such videos.